This is the May Research Challenge that I'm going through. You can see every single day there's a challenge. But one of the things I was like, hell no, is challenge number 26, which is change change to a fresh set of bed sheets. I mean, it's day number 26 and you're challenging me to change my bed sheets. How now? I do that every single week. How often do you guys change your bed sheets? Like really, how often do you do that? May it's a new month my mind has been working overtime and when my mind works overtime I like to write my thoughts down because that's the only way I can process them that's the only way I can work out all those tiny details that are occupying my enormous gigantic head and you know that's what they say about girls with big foreheads right this is like an extra brain for them so uh, it's May and again it's me, Sals, and I'm just, there was a video I did where I spoke about friendship language, what's your friendship language and also do you know your friend's friendship language and that got me to thinking because I'm doing this challenge called uh, May Resets and one of the things is to write down five things that you're proud of. I'm proud of my friends because they're the kind of friends that you can ride or die with. They will be there with you through thick and thin. I do not have a lot of them, but the ones that I have are just amazing people that I would not be here if it weren't for them mentally as well as physically so like i said i spent the better part of today writing and i don't know i've written i, I think about 10 pages so that's page number one page number two page number three page number four page number five page number six seven eight nine well one page shy of ten one of the things that i've really really focused on in my writing has been friendship and the ability to just be there for each other so i was writing down things that make me proud and one of them like i said it was uh, was friends and another one is family another one is um another one is my attitude my attitude and life's lessons learned and the reason i say my attitude is one of the things that i'm proud of is because my attitude especially my positive attitude has carried me forward these last five years if i did not have a positive outlook on life a positive attitude i would not be where i am today and the last five years have given me like a whole book filled with life's lessons and appreciate every single moment that you have I'm proud of my work as well and i'm proud of my clients because my work is one of those things that just allows you to be yourself i have clients that always always understand me and they are very flexible so my, my work hours are flexible and they are also very flexible. So when I wake up not feeling my best and I think, oh, I, I would love to work, but I really can't, I can call them. And they will always, without a doubt, reschedule or ask me to call them if I wake up and not feel um, like I can work. So they always, always, always stand by me through thick and thin they're more of friends than clients because most of them i've had for years and they've been with me through a lot of ups and downs and then i came across this quote that says there is no exercise better for the heart than reaching out and also reaching down and lifting people up so in your journey through life especially right now with corona and all of that 
try to find ways to lift each other up because one way or another we are affected by it and it's hard to just breathe nowadays when you wake up you are overwhelmed by a lot of nothingness and i say that because you wake up and you have no work to go to you might not have food in the house you have a lot of things that are just not working for you so you're overwhelmed with a lot of nothingness and it's hard to feel like you can reach out and help someone else but i think these are the times that we should do exactly that maybe the little that we have share with someone that has absolutely nothing is the may reset challenge that i'm going through you can see every single day there's a challenge but one of the things i was like hell no is challenge number 26 which is change change to a fresh set of bed sheets i mean it's day number 26 and you're challenging me to change my bed sheets how now i do that every single week how often do you guys change your bed sheets like really how often do you do that so self-care says I love you, self-care says prove it and it's good to prove to yourself that you care about yourself because if you do not, if you're not in love with yourself, if you do not love yourself, it's going to be practically impossible for you to love someone else. You have to be there for yourself, you have to take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally so that you have the strength to be there for other people in case you're interested with such a challenge it doesn't have to be a may challenge you can just challenge your, yourself to just uh, watch your favorite movie um, unplug from social media this is going to be on social media so <laughs> one day of the week i'm plugged from social media and um it's hard i'm going to try and do so and uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I will catch you on Monday with a new recipe. I'm still thinking about what to cook, but I promise you it's going to be good. Right? Ciao, ciao. And let me try to sleep because three o'clock in the morning, no sleep. And I have a baby who wakes up at seven or six. So it's time for me to shut myself down and just unplug a little bit.